you know, when many of you, you know, came to this channel, I believe like we really, you know, got close. Like we, we cultivated something together that was so beautiful and is beautiful. You understand? I believe we have a beautiful relationship. There's such a beautiful tribe. And, you know, I feel like I stepped into a position at a time where, you know, we were all kind of needing something and just in divine timing, you know, I was able to supply my light and you were there to receive. And it was a, a beautiful experience. And then along this YouTube journey of mine, of ours, you know, my podcast journey, I started to feel like my reservoirs were starting to get a little bit low, truthfully, you know, I was like, wow. And I, I, I started to feel this like natural resistance to like being on camera. Like I just didn't really want to do it. I was like, oh my God, like I didn't want to look in the camera no more. And I didn't tell anybody this, like, let me get comfortable. Hold up. Hold up. So this is the number one chill spot. We get comfortable here. Yeah, that's better. And I didn't tell anybody this because I didn't know how to say it, but you know, I still wanted to show up. I still wanted to speak, but I wanted to do it in a, in a different way. You know, I used to get real close to the camera. You understand my hands would be, you know, gliding across the screen. And I just hit a, hit a time where I was like, that's not the way I, I need. I want to show up right now. That's a little bit too much energy for me. I need to recirculate some energy back into myself. And it was hard because I knew I would be met with some resistance as soon as I changed. And some of you are going to notice, you know, I brought the camera back and I started to put my glasses on and that was actually reserving a piece of my spirit that I was trying to preserve myself, to be honest. And I would see some of the comments and people would be like, Heinz, I really need you up close and I'd feel bad about it. And someone is even like, Heinz, I miss it when you would like, you know, talk with your hands <laughs> the cool thing about content creation just the place you position the camera uh, the way you position it and your equipment your equipment it becomes an extension of yourself so like when i bring the camera real close i will naturally you know look in the camera in a different way my hands will move across the camera in a different way and it creates a really intimate experience but, you know, we've all been in intimate relationships and sometimes we've recognized in those relationships, we've given too much of ourselves, right? And now we are depleting ourselves and it's affecting other areas of our life. And that's what happened to me, truthfully. Other areas of my life were trying to take a hit because I was giving so much online and no regrets, you understand? I'm glad I did it. But through the journey, I started to, you know, I started to learn you know, learn how to show up and learn when to, you know, preserve because something happened and I didn't like it. <sighs> Showing up started to feel like a chore and not a choice when this was always a choice. And once I realized, oh my God, it's feeling like a chore. I'm like I got to change the frequency a little bit. I still want to be here, but in a different way. Now, many of you know, I, you know, I stopped producing my podcast, but I didn't really feel like I had the energy to do so. And I wanted to quiet my mind a little bit. You know, I stopped posting on TikTok. I stopped posting <laughs> in, in so many places, Instagram. And I just showed up here on YouTube, you know, here and there, but a lot further from the camera like I am now, but with my glasses on because I just wanted to connect through my voice, you know. I didn't have that same energy to give to you because the truth is there was a recultivation that I had to go through in myself, right? I, I had to, I had to build my confidence back up, you know, um, you know, we're all always kind of going through something in life. And, you know, I had questions about some other things and I was working through those and I was figuring things out. And, the truth is I just didn't have it in me to connect with you like that. And I'm sorry, you know, I would see the comments and I would feel sorry, but the truth is I felt drained. It's important that we honor ourselves in all seasons. You know, it's important that we honor who we are in all seasons. And when we are in relationships with people, they will change just as much as we will change. And when we are with somebody and we recognize change within themselves, 
and it's manifesting in their life and they're acting a little bit different. Sometimes we have to be patient with them and see where that goes. Because when we are changing, sometimes we are uncertain of what is happening. Have you ever had like a whole belief or faith change or like maybe a dream, a goal change or a career change or your heart changed about a relationship? And where does that happen first? It happens here and here. So a lot of the time when you start to see people change and you think it's all of a sudden, it was already happening within themselves in secrecy and solitude for a while. And then finally, because it got so, you know, started to manifest within them, it started to pour out through their actions and now you can actually see it. And to honor any relationship, we have to honor the change that happens for both of us, you understand? But our devotion to that relationship will never change. And my devotion to you will never change, you understand? I am dedicated to producing the number one chill spot on the internet. I am dedicated to producing some of the best content possible. But my devotion to you never changes. But the way I express will and those expressions are still within me. They're still there. Trust me, we're going to have our tea time. We're going to get close. It's going to feel like a FaceTime call. And, you know, we're going to have that still. But I'm actually happy for, you know, the little progression I went through because I found new energies within me, new ways to express and new ideas and realizations about where I want to take my content that never would have happened if I <sighs> caged myself into a version of myself just to please everybody because I knew that's what they wanted. And sometimes we do that in life, don't we? We are performing for others because we think that's what they want from us and denying what's happening within. And my friend, again, you might as well be yourself undeniably. So the ones that love you can come closer and the ones that don't, they can just simply, you know, go another way. I want to thank a lot of you for being patient with me. You know, um, you know, I was inconsistent on the channel. Sometimes I post three videos in one week then disappear for four weeks. And it was just the nature of the content we make is very different than some other channels. You know, you know, we go deep. And when I come close to the camera, you know, we are we are really connecting. Like a lot of you have said, like, I felt like I was there in the room with you. Like, I felt like you are here with me, you know. Because that's energy, that's intention, you understand? And that's an experience we cultivated. But just like every relationship, a relationship has spectrums and different dynamics. And here on the number one chill spot on YouTube, you know, I want to have a spectrum of energies and emotions. You know, not just one flavor, but many different ingredients. I want this to be a space where you can come and laugh, but we can have a good time, you know? A space where we can just bump some good music. Y'all know my music taste is a one-on-one -on -one. it's a place you can come and release and cry you understand it's a place where you can feel safe and it's a place where we can get extremely close but it's also a space where you don't even have to look at the screen and you're just listening as i guide you through whatever moment you are going through in life and enjoying you understand some of my favorite content to make is actually my podcast why because i love looking at my stories and seeing people listening to the podcast while they're at the gym seeing people at a picnic listening to the podcast seeing people on road trips i've seen <laughs> this one girl the other day she was lighting up like the biggest blunt i have ever seen even my boy hit me up but my boy is a big smoker and he was like yo shorty is just cooking a big blunt i'm like yo she, she's vibing right now and she had this like old song just playing and she was just bumping the podcast in the morning and she's just like yo chilling in hindsight right now and i was just like yo that's a vibe <laughs> that was such a vibe shout out to her shout out to her and i realized i'm like i love making content that enhances your day you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm devoted to in whatever energy in whatever way possible you know so the podcast is back as well and i love that because it's like you know it's no visuals it's no ads it's no sponsors it's like you can take it wherever you need to go it just enhances an experience you understand and you know i know i was inconsistent there and i apologize but again i'm basically telling you that i poured a lot of myself out during that pandemic 
and I needed like a good year, you know, to pour back in. You know, I went to Jamaica, I went to New York, I got into, I got into a relationship. I went to Mexico, I went to Japan with my daughter. I drove down <laughs> all the way to California. I went to Africa. I chilled, I stressed, I, <laughs> I ate good, I ate good, I ate good. If you, if, if you see my receipts right now, I ate good. I gotta be more on the budget right now, but what I'm saying is I gave myself experiences, right? Because our expressions, our content, whatever we bring into this world, my friends, all of us, is the fruit of our spirit, right? And if you start to feel that your spirit is depreciating, depleting, that is a call for recalibration, right? That may be a call for solitude, right? Just to fine tune your frequency. And simply, I just wanted to say today, I appreciate your patience I appreciate your presence, how you show up. I've never seen such a positive comment section in my life. Like, to be honest, like the comment section is so positive. I love how there's community. I love how y'all help each other in the comment section. Um, and I just wanted to explain, you know, I just wanted to explain like why, you know, you may have felt like, oh, like it feels like he's hiding from me. It feels like he's holding something back. And it, it wasn't anything against you. It was really just wanting to preserve myself and learn, okay, how do we maintain this relationship in a beautiful way, that ebb and flow? Because I just put it all on the plate. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I put it all on the table and didn't leave anything, you know, for myself. But now we have that understanding because through our failures, right, and our downs, we always learn and we elevate. And I'm glad for these experiences. So we're gonna have a spectrum of videos. You know, I posted a vlog the other day. We don't do a lot of vlogs. I had a lot of fun with that vlog. Um, you know, we're gonna have the live streams. We're gonna have these like spoken words. You know, we're gonna react to things. Again, it's the number one chill spot. It's a place to cry, laugh, joy, community, whatever it may be. You can come here every day if you feel like it. I want it to be that type of space, you know? And you always know it's gonna be some type of good vibe. You know, we're not trying to divide you through the cultural topics here. You know, all is welcome, age, race, gender, culture. I don't care. I love looking in the live streams and seeing that diversity and people that we have here. You know, that is what I am devoted to. That is what I am devoted to.